Yeah, so in that situation, I basically would just hop in your, pa as long as you consent to it, I would just hop in your passenger seat and uh, I would just uh, ride with you. And, uh, you know, so there's, uh, when we're doing our work, we're, we're talking about, you know, so cognitive behavioral therapy is, you know, how are you, so it's not about just driving, it's how are you thinking when you're driving, how are you feeling while you're driving, and then what are you doing? Um, so as I'm riding with you, we're able in those moments to be able to reframe uh, those thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. So you're able to work it out in the moments that you're driving. This struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever road we have to take next. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. differences between our program and most programs is we're community-based um, so what that means is that we go directly into the situations that you struggle with and then be able to work with you in those moments that you struggle um, we certainly can talk about the specifics of your situation and I can give you a better idea of what that looks like uh, but so we're community-based that's one thing um, the second thing is is that we are a very uh, high accountable how high accountability program uh, so you get a check-in every night of what you did that day um, based on the skills that we're teaching you and then um, and then you fill out uh, a check-in which is just basically a form an online form once you fill that out, then I will be in contact to, I'll, I'll review it and then I'll be in contact uh, to uh, then send you information about that. Don't let the doubt in you win. I know you feel it within. So go ahead and just spin. It's been for me. Won't you? I know it's hard for you to give it a try. Yeah, so that that next level that you're talking about is that you know you like you said you can understand it theoretically in the office with the therapist, but then applying it, you're more or less trying to apply it on your own. And uh, so basically, our therapy sessions are in your car, uh, so it's not in an office. You know, we're we're doing therapy uh, right in your car, so we're able to directly apply it in those situations, and then as you uh you know as you do it then we'll gradually um make it where you're driving a little bit more and more on your own uh and and then you'll be able to apply it and you'll see that there's no difference between me riding with you and you driving on your own we can i've done a lot of work with people that have a you know a fear of driving and you know panic attacks are a part of that and um so just so you know to to help you feel more comfortable. What I'll do is I'll provide just a basic foundation of cognitive behavioral therapy before we'll even get in the car. So you'll learn the skills before we even get in the car. Um, and during learning the skills, what we're gonna do is create a hierarchy. So it's basically uh, a, a roadmap um, of how we're going to drive. Um, so you'll, the hierarchy basically says, you know, zero being no anxiety, 10 being the most anxiety ever. Uh, you know, we will put situations of driving on that, on that scale. 
um, to be to say okay today we're only gonna you're only getting gonna get in the car turn the car on and if you feel like you can go further then we'll you know we'll go we'll drive for one minute or two minutes um, and we'll start really slow you might be able to do more than that but we'll start really slow so you can really kind of start to feel that comfort and confidence um, when we're doing it you are not alone i'm here with you i think you owe it to this beautiful night to lose all your control do it for you let me show you a place where you gon' wanna move your feet until they start to bleed did you take it So, um, potential new client, right? So, good example of, uh, you know, what we do, that community-based part, right? So, we get out with people, and uh, this is specific to driving phobia, and uh, we just, you know, I hop in the car with the person, and we, I just ride along. And, uh, you know, for the first five years of my career I was in an office I was in an office a big office corporate woods and uh, you know the tie and the collar and and all that stuff and um, I, I doing cognitive behavioral work you know there's such an emphasis on the behavioral part and uh, people that I was working with at the time really struggled like I would say okay go out and do this go out and do this but they would understand it theoretically uh, but when it came to applying it on their own that they couldn't do it and so closed down that office and uh, Then just became community-based and love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, I think it's just a great uh, way to apply the skills specifically in uh, The situations that people struggle All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this Tuesday Let's get this Tuesday. Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. I want to talk to you about uh, per, what I always feel in Parisi, what I always feel in Parisi, and I also talk to clients about. All right, so uh, you got to find, you got to find the beauty in everything you got to find the beauty in everything and when i go to parisi when i go to parisi i always just feel uh i just feel the beauty it's a it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful place and uh i just feel beautiful myself when i'm in parisi i find the beauty uh when i'm talking with clients we got to find the beauty we got to find the beauty in everything right we got to find the beauty in everything and you guys know where i'm going with this you guys know where i'm going with this you got to find the beauty in yourself first you got to find the beauty in yourself first the more that you can find the beauty in yourself then the more that you can see the beauty in other things right the more you can see the beauty in ever the other things so you know if you're struggling you're feeling anxious you're feeling sad you know how can you find the beauty in that how can you find the beauty in feeling that way how can you feel the beauty and not feeling totally a hundred percent not only can it, how can you feel the beauty in your struggles how can you also recognize the beauty in yourself both emotionally physically relationally spiritually how can you find the beauty how can you find how can you find the beauty in yourself right so i just always am just trying to think about beauty as i'm looking uh as i'm thinking about myself uh guys it doesn't always have to be physical it doesn't always have to be physical um, but definitely we want to find the beauty in things we want to find the beauty in things so I just would encourage you I would encourage you when you're thinking about yourself what's the beauty that you find in yourself what's the beauty that you find in yourself just take a minute to stop take a minute I know a lot of us when we think about beauty we just think about the physical part of us we just think about the physical part and I'm all for thinking about the physical part of beauty right I'm all for it I think that's part of it but that's not all of it that's not all of it all right what do you find beautiful in yourself so I'll give you an example like I like uh, the physical part of me 
the beauty that I find uh, in me is I like the physical part is I like my hair I like my hair a whole lot I like my hair a whole lot that's one of the physical things uh, that I find beautiful about me uh, one of the things that I that I find beautiful about myself and my character and my personality is I love to have fun. I love uh, just L-O-V-E, capital L-O-V-E. I love to have fun, all right? F-U-N, capital F-U-N. I love to have fun. I find that beautiful in me, right? I find that beautiful in me. Uh, I, I love humor, I love humor. Another thing that I love about me is I believe that I just have this kind of, uh, I don't know I just have this awareness I think about myself but also about other people is to see just different angles to see different angles not just one angle but multiple angles of, of a situation um, so I really do find the beauty in myself and and really appreciate that about myself I also just really believe uh, that my heart my heart is always just beating and full of love at least I try to make it full of love all the time uh, that's what I find beautiful about myself all right what's the thing that you find beautiful about yourself what's the thing that you really are attracted to what's the thing that you love about yourself okay think about that think about that you got you might have to dig deep right now if you're not much in love with yourself if you're not much in love with yourself but you might have to dig deep but what do you find beautiful about yourself? What do you find beautiful about yourself? Think about that. Think about it. I want you to find some things that you find beautiful about yourself. It's healthy to think that you're beautiful. It's healthy to think that you're beautiful, y'all. It's healthy. It's healthy. It's healthy to think that you're beautiful. All right? What do you find beautiful about yourself? Find the beauty in everything. Find the beauty in everything. Oh, 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 check. Now we going way up. Don't be used as easy as a layup.